the hollow muscular organ that pumping the blood through the circulatory system by using rhythmic contraction and dilation. It locate the central of the chest with its lung to the lymph. It contracted to push the oxygenated blood around from the lung and back to the heart, then to the rest of the body. After the organ and the muscle tissue use the oxygen, it will travel up superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava and back to the heart. Starting this process all over again because your heart continues this process millions of times higher. The heart contains the four chamber, the upper two chamber and the lower two chamber. The upper two chamber right and left atrium and the lower two chamber is right and left ventricle. The atria are smaller than ventricles, have the thinner, less muscular wall than the ventricles. The arteries act as receiver chamber for the blood, so they are connected to the vein that carry blood to the heart. The ventricles are the larger, stronger pumping chamber for sending blood out of the heart. The ventricles on the right side of the heart are smaller and have less myocardium in the heart wall. When they compare it to the left side of the heart, the right side of the heart maintained pulmonary circulation to the nearby, while the left side of the heart pumping all the way to the by the body in the systemic circulation law. Now let us draw a simple picture of the heart. This is the how. This is the how the This is the how the blood This is the how the blood flow How the blood flow in the heart in the in the heart I wanted to draw the simple picture of the heart this is the diaphragm of the heart this is the diaphragm diaphragm of the heart you know the heart is the pyramid shape Diaphragmic is the diaphragmic of the heart. Heart is the pyramid shape. This is the superior vena cava. Is the superior vena cava. is the superior vena cava. The superior vena cava, and also here we have the inferior vena cava. This is the inferior vena cava. Inferior vena cava. Inferior vena cava. Superior vena cava and also the inferior vena cava 
are great vein. You have to know vein is towards the heart and artery carrying blood away from the heart. And also here we have ionic arc or arc of iron. You can see here arc of iron has three branches. Arc of ionic has a three branches. of iron arch of is the arch of iron you can see here arch of iron has a three prime the first one is one the first one is brachiocephalic artery. Brachiocephalic artery. Lift it common, lift it, lift it common, lift it common, carotid, artery, that one, then lift it. Subclavian, your subclavian area. You can see here, aortic arch has three branches: brachiocephalic artery, with the common carotid artery, and the subclavian artery. And also here we have the pulmonary trunk. In the pulmonary trunk. This is the pulmonary trunk. You know, the pulmonary trunk is the major vessel of the human heart, origin from the right ventricle into the lung. You know, the pulmonary trunk has the two branches, right, and the pulmonary artery. This is the left pulmonary artery. This is the left pulmonary artery. the left is the left pulmonary arm and also other side we have the right right the right pulmonary Right pulmonary artery. Is the right pulmonary to the artery. You know the pulmonary trunk conveys the oxygenated blood from the right ventricle into the lung. The next I want to point out is the chambers of the heart. Heart has the two chambers, the upper two chambers and the lower two chambers. The upper two chambers is the upper two chamber is is the right is the right atrium.
and other side we have the lift atrium. Is the lift? Also here, lift atrium. Lift. Is the lift atrium. The upper two chamber is right atrium and the lift atrium, and also the lower chamber is is the right ventricle. Is there? Is right. the right front trigger and other side we have lift the front trigger with the lift is the lift front trigger is the lift front trigger between the atrium and the ventricle, we have the what we call the atrioventricular valve. The right side we have right atrioventricular valve, and the left side we have left atrioventricular valve. Between the atrium, uh, right atrium, and the right ventricle, we have what we call tricuspid valve. Is the tricuspid valve? The tricuspid valve. Is the tricuspid valve. Is the tricuspid valve. On other side, we have the mitral valve. Is the mitral valve. Is the mitral valve? The mitral is the mitral is the mitral valve. Tricuspid valve and the mitral valve control blood flow in the upper and the lower chambers of the heart. And also we have is the pulmonary valve. Or the cell lunar valve is the pulmonary valve. Is the pulmonary valve. Pulmonary valve between the right ventricle and the artery. And also the last one we have the in aortic valve. This is the aortic valve. Aortic valve. Aortic is the is the aortic valve. And so we have is the aortic valve. Aortic valve between the left ventricle and the aorta. I, I, aortic valve control in uh, blood left uh, left ventricle to the body. And also here we have the is the pulmonary vein. Is the pulmonary vein pulmonary vein? Pulmonary is the pulmonary vein, and also here we have this is the pulmonary vein, and so other side we have the pulmonary vein.
bit of pulmonary. Is the pulmonary valve, and also the abdomen. The lower we have the abyss. Is the abdomen. That's the anatomy of the heart. Let's look at how the blood flow happens. Here we have the few steps. The first step is right atrium, and uh, the first step is right atrium receives blood from the great vein, superior vein cava, superior vein cava, and also blood comes from the lower extremity into the right atrium through the inferior vein cava. From right atrium, blood passing from the right atrium into the right ventricle through the tricuspid valve. Through the tricuspid valve. From the right ventricle, uh, blood is pumping through the pulmonary valve and the pulmonary artery into the lungs. In the lungs, carbon dioxide is removed from the blood and oxygen is picked up. Through the pulmonary vein, through the pulmonary vein. The oxygenated blood return to the heart into the left atrium. From the left atrium, blood is pumped in through the in through the mitral valve and uh, mitral valve into the left ventricle. This valve have different name: mitral valve, bicuspid valve, left atrioventricular valve. From left ventricle contract, the pressure can lose the mitral valve. The pressure closed the mitral valve, aortic valve, opening and allowing blood lead to the heart, the via plafisa called the aortic valve. When the cyclic of the pump is accompanied, the, the aortic valve closing to prevent blood dropping back into the heart. Thank you for your watching. There is the how blood flow happening.